Today we're going to talk about XPage's custom controls in IBM Lotus Notes and Domino. This is an identical presentation that I gave at the Northeast Lotus user group recently. We're going to talk about what are custom controls. We're going to talk about how they can simplify your XPages. We're going to talk about how we can use them to componentize functional XPage markup. And in the wrap-up phase, we're going to review what we learned. I'm going to give you my contact info in case you have additional questions. Now, what are custom controls? They're developer-defined controls containing XPage markup. If you're looking for a corollary to legacy design elements, think subforms. They're available via the controls palette, and they allow nesting and repeated use. But unlike a subform to a form, you can have multiple of the identical custom controls embedded in the same X page. So beyond simple markup, they can contain any component available in an X page. They're basically a mini X page. This could be X page controls like a repeat control which we'll see in the demo app as well as custom controls, server-side JavaScript, Java methods that you include in the build path, and again as we'll see in the demo, reference data sources. So let's simplify our X pages. On the left hand side here we've got a very basic layout. You've got a navigator at the top and bottom. We're going to simplify that, break it down to just a few lines of X page markup. You've got a custom header and footer here. And each, uh, both the header and footer contain uh, your HTML underscore navigation custom control. This is where we get into the nesting and repeated uh, capabilities because the custom controls can contain other custom controls. As mentioned both the header and the footer contain navigation. So we're going to use a single custom control which is going to tie into notes documents and the notes view to allow us to maintain the header menus. Now this is unstyled specifically so you can see how this works. So let's jump into the demo. You've got a very basic X page here Here's the menu across the here's the menu across the top. Uh, it duplicates the menu across the bottom. Now, if I go into the X page itself, very basic. I've defined a, a data source here. Gets the uh, menu items notes view with a variable view. Both the header and footer, as we've mentioned, contain that navigation custom control. Within that custom control, I use a repeat control referencing that view. The, the view variable so I'm getting that notes view and it creates its own uh, menu item variable now I use that to iterate through all the notes documents in that view it gets me the, the th first 30 if you will and it creates my list item and X page link now I do that grabbing the URL and the text value very basic stuff Seeing this in action, we see our app. Let me go into the app. It's uh, the the application itself. I'm going to delete one of these menu items, and you'll see it updates here. Now you build this into a CMS. You're maintaining your website all via X pages, all via notes documents as the source. So we create a managed navigator, notes document based menu items. So it controls the A element, which we use a repeat control to build out the list item, grabbing the notes item values from each document for the URL and the text. This is all legacy design element stuff for the actual data management. Uh, so technically, you can point this to a settings database that contains this information that's not X pages enabled. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the application, nor does it have to be X page driven. We're talking about data here. So the form contains two notes items, and the view contains three just for sorting purposes. The repeat control, as I mentioned, it's using the X page defined data source, grabs the menu items variable view uses that data source to build your own list items and anchor elements. Pretty slick stuff. Now what did we learn? The HTML navigation can be used anywhere. It allows for nested usage so you can have the navigation striped across your page. You can use SSJS, Java, App Formula, pass-through, markup, and JavaScript. Pretty slick stuff. If you have any questions, I'm online www.dominic.com